Hey, this is Callagher. Today we're taking a look at a beautiful 1994 Buick Park Avenue. This old girl right here, and boy was this a nice place to be once upon a time. Let's take a look at it. Unfortunately, it probably is here due to, well, there is some body damage and stuff, but due to uh, it mechanically being totaled. And the reason I say so is you can see this evidence right here of an owner that couldn't afford to maintain it. Otherwise, this was a nice car. You can see on the bumper and down the doors and side of the car, it had the chrome trim package and stuff. This was a nice ride at one point. Kind of your standard red paint. I'm not, it's not doing much for me, but the interior with the super plush fabric seats did have drums in the back, drum brakes in the back, but what a nice sedan. This was also, unfortunately, front wheel drive, but it had the indestructible Buick 3.8 liter V6. Super dependable, aside from a few basic issues. Oh yeah, look at this plush pillow top seats. This was a nice place to be. Oh man, ashtrays and all that good stuff in the back. The doors even close nice, which you can't say that for a lot of modern Chevys. These doors feel great. Look at that. Look at that. The passenger climate controls are on the door panel. That is impressive. Concert sound too. Power adjustable seats. Embroidered Park Avenue on these pillow tops. God, this is nice. Nice dark burgundy interior. I mean, unfortunately, this uh, this wood here is very, very obviously fake. They didn't really try too hard there, but still. Oh, interesting. They stole Lincoln's idea of stupidly putting the... Uh, <laughs> a big ashtray right there, but just in case, here's one. Putting the uh, seat controls right there. It's odd they would do that. Lincoln did the same thing, though. And Lincoln made a nice car. Also had a hood ornament as well. The Buick Shields is what I believe they are. Oh, man. Another just surprising thing. Have you ever seen headlight controls or your light controls in general on the door? On the door panel, how odd. Also, I'm impressed this little crevice is so clean because that looks like a pain in the ass to clean. Again, seat controls here, crowded by window and mirror controls as well. Manual recline, interesting. All right, let's dive in. Oh man, just comfort. And I love a dark interior, I really do. I really do. Boy, the camera is picking up the dust, huh? Oh man, these buttons are just even far above the quality of what you would even find today. They feel fabulous. These ones not so much, but the climate control, yeah, that's, that's a little cheap. Yes, it is, but still, these climate control buttons are fabulous. Only 125,000 miles on this, that's shocking. Fake leather wrapped steering wheel, it appears, but still a nice one. Twilight Sentinel, interesting. So if I'm not mistaken, uh, that is automatic headlamps and it will, e either it's that or it's auto dimming brights. One of the two. Fuel door, oh, electronic fuel door release. Take a look at under the hood here in a moment. Ooh, lamp monitor, high beam, left turn. Wow, interesting lamp, garage. So there's probably a way to pop this panel open and you can put a garage door opener behind it. <gasps> Whoa, I haven't seen this before. So this one's got the Extendo visor O, but it also has the dual visor set up so you can do that and that giving you even more protection. Same deal on the driver's side. That is also classy, hiding up in there. Buick Park Avenue. This is nice. I wonder if there was like some warning lamps up in this little bar up in here. Possible. It is possible. And these seats are just plush as heck. Oh, it had those style cup holders. So you flip these forward and then you can put this back down. But if you need to sit somebody here, you can put them back in and just lift that up. Interesting. She's also still got the old style General Motors clickers for the seat belts. And let's take a look at this almost hidden <laughs> glove box. Wow, a tiny glove box. We got this huge thing right here trunk release off. Oh, so you can make it so that that does not pop the trunk. Oil reset. Gotcha. That's for the change oil light. 
which I don't know where, maybe that was displayed in here. Interesting. Cool car, let's take a look under the hood. Well, actually, no. This is not a cool car, but a nice car. I believe this is gonna be the 3.8 liter, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see here, yep, 3.8. Dependable, reliable engine. Well, thanks for watching this old Buick. There's not a whole lot to be said about these other than that they're just, they were truly, um, for their time, a pinnacle combination of reliability and luxury. And it's sad to say that they don't really make anything quite as comfortable anymore. Hardly any brand does, especially Cadillac. They've gone all sporty and all that stuff, so. And Buick's gone to the Chinese, so. Well, either way, thanks for watching. On to the next video.